now live from Comerica Park in Detroit Rock City. MLB The Show is proud to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got an interleague showdown for you tonight as it'll be the Colorado Rockies taking on the Detroit Tigers. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you all the action. Joining me in the booth, Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Dave, let's turn to you. What leaps out at you first when you take a look at this matchup? Well, one guy that's been a factor for the past couple of decades or so is Yvonne Rodriguez. I mean, go ahead and clear out some space in Cooperstown because there's no doubt he's going to be heading there in five years after he retires. Until then, he'll still be one of the best defensive catchers in baseball. All right, Dave, thanks, and we'll get to Rex shortly, but first, let's check out the starting lineup for the defending National League champion Colorado Rockies, brought to us by New Era Cap. At the top of the lineup, Willie Tavares out in center field. After that, shortstop Troy Tulowitzki. The right-handed hitting Matt Holliday is next out in left field. Todd Helton is in the cleanup spot at first base. Garrett Atkins will bat fifth. He's at third base. Brad Hopp bats number six in right field. Corey Sullivan will bat seventh and be the DH tonight. Next is your Victorialba, the catcher. Marcus Giles will round out the order. He will play second. And they'll be opposed by the hard-throwing right-hander, Justin Verlander. Verlander comes off a spectacular 18-win campaign in 2007 and joins only Dave Rigetti in Major League history as pitchers that have been Rookie of the Year, thrown a no-hitter, and pitched in a World Series before the age of 25. A look there at the Tigers' defense. They, of course, led by 13-time Gold Glove winner Pudge Rodriguez behind the plate, as well as a first-time winner Placido Polanco at second base. Leadoff man Willie Tavares digs into the box, and we are just about set for baseball. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Well, obviously, when you're buttoned for a hit, you'd rather get the ball closer to the line. If the pitcher's the first to get it, you'll often be out of luck. Troy Tulowitzki will be the batter. And a curveball in for a strike. I don't think he was expecting the deuce on the first pitch, Matt. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. And the pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. And a good two-strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Matt Holliday will stand in. First pitch coming. And a ball 1-0. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Swing and a miss as he gets this fastball by him. It's 1-1. One one. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Good location on the outside corner there. 1-2. And they'd love to get through this first inning. One, two, three. There's no doubt about that. And he got him. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. The Tigers coming up. No score. And now a look at the starting lineup the Tigers will use here. Leading things off is the young center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Batting second and playing second is Placido Polanco. Batting third, Miguel Cabrera. He'll play third. In the fourth spot, the dangerous right fielder, Maglio Ordonez. Gary Sheffield is the designated hitter tonight. He'll bat fifth. Then comes Carlos Guillen at his new position over at first. Next, the power-hitting shortstop, Edgar Renteria. Jock Jones hits eighth in left. 
Pudge Rodriguez. Finally, will round things out behind the plate. He'll bat number nine. They'll go to work against the Canadian-born left-hander Jeff Francis. Francis was a huge part of the Rockies' improbable run to the NL pennant last season as he finished fourth in the league with 17 wins and really took that step from middle-of-the-rotation guy to true staff ace. And behind Francis, the Rockies' defense will line up like this. And striding in now is the center fielder Curtis Granderson to start the bottom of inning number one. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. And, oh. and you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Ah, and that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, that's a beauty of a pitch. Check out where this thing is. He'd like to stay down there all night if he can. Placido Polanco will be the batter. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to first. And Helton will take this one himself for the out. Little over anxious that time. He went out of the strike zone to get that one, and it didn't pay off for him. Miguel Cabrera will take his cuts now. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Always good for the pitchers to establish a count in their favor when they're dealing with guys like this. Good cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. And, and now with two strikes and two outs, he's looking square in the face of a 1-2-3 bottom of the first. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. So nothing happening this time around. We'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park with no score. Todd Helton will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Now here's the first pitch. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Boy, and a good cut there by Helton as he comes up empty, 0-2. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. Cabrera is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Well, he left this one up in the strike zone, but he got the batter to swing underneath it, and he popped it up. Garrett Atkins will stand in for the first time here. Fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. Jones is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Brad Hopp steps in now. Come on, don't give in now. And a fastball just misses for ball one. 1-0 one -oh on the way. Now it's 2-0. and oh. Circle change just off the inside corner. Ball three. And 
and this one catches the inside corner for strike one. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. We'll see Magli Ordonez leading off when we return. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Magli Ordonez will start things off in the bottom of the second. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Boy, there are NBA centers that couldn't reach that one. 0-2 now to Maglio. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And this is just an instance of being overmatched by a fastball. He was way late on that one. Gary Sheffield will get his first cuts here. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Boy, tough when you take off speed to start the at-bat. Here it comes. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Well this is a pitcher's pitch running out of the zone. But he chases after it and winds up with a base hit. Carlos Guillen will dig in. A switch hitter batting right. Now a move over to first. And he just does get his hand back in time. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Checked by Francis. Now he comes home. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Time to take a deep breath and regroup at the plate here. And he'll throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. Swing and a soft liner down the line in right, but foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Runners off for second. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw, not in time as he steals second. So he can't make contact there on strike three, but meanwhile the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Man at second here with two away, and the former All-Star Edgar Renteria will be the batter. Now a ball lined to the right side, but a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Corey Sullivan ready to go here as we begin the third.
first pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Ooh, got to be able to recognize that pitch is just going to keep riding upwards. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a ball lines softly down the right field line, and this is going to be a foul ball. Grounded foul. And this is grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. On the ground to second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Tough play for a second baseman going to his right because he's got to stop, plant, and then get off a good throw. That's well done right there. So one away now in the Colorado third, and digging in the catcher, your Victorialba. Chopper foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, one is a circle change that's over for a cold strike. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And this is a bad pitch to chase down below the knees. He's got to show more discipline than that. Marcus Giles will dig in here. And this is low, ball one. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there, one and one. Outside, two and one. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. Ordonia is back to the track, though, as he pulls it in and a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Jock Jones makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. in there for strike one. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. One one pitch now to Jock. On the ground to Giles at second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Well, Soup, you mentioned this earlier in the game. Always a tough play for a second baseman moving to his right, but he's able to plant, make a strong throw back to first, and get it. One gone here in the Detroit third, and here comes Pudge. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. Let's check this out from our overhead camera and see how he reaches those arms out to cover the outside part of the plate. That's a great job of not trying to do too much up there. Curtis Granderson will stand in. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and 
Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. On the ground is short. This could be two. Giles for one. On to Helton, not in time. They can't complete the back end. Not exactly a tailor-made double play. Thought they might have a shot, but the return throw is too late. So a runner at first with two away, and stepping in is the second baseman, Placido Polanco. Checked by Francis. Now here he comes home. And that misses for ball one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. Runners going. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Looking to move into scoring position with two out, but a good throw there nailed it. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Willie Tavares will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0-1. And, and he's bringing that thing at 97 on the gun. And that might be the low end right now. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Try to change of pace with two strikes there, but it misses 1-2. and two. The pitch. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And you can pretty much follow the thought process here on swing track. He's getting ready for the fastball on one and two, but they give him something off speed, and he was way too early on that swing. Troy Tulowitzki digs in at the plate. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. And he looks at a ball 1 and 2. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number 4. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Renteria backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Matt Holliday will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And Holiday swings and misses and falls behind quickly, nothing in two. The 0 2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball one and two. They set up away that time, but he couldn't quite hit a spot with a bender. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one will get this one. Now a swing and a ground ball. Up with it is the shortstop Renteria. Throw on to Guillen at first, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Placido Polanco will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch on the way. Too low, 1-0. Now a fast 
fastball that stays straight, but I think he just missed it as this is hit in the air to fairly deep center field. Tavares has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Miguel Cabrera will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees, but this is a good low ball hitter, and he gets good wood on this one. So a runner at first with one man gone, and we'll see how they pitch the dangerous Maglio Ordonez. A look at Cabrera, now the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. Here's the one-one pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Throw in the dirt, but the all-star Helton stays with it. Nice play. Well, there's a reason why Helton's got two gold gloves in his locker, and this is it. Great concentration to stay with this thing. Gary Sheffield will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Slider and he can't pull the trigger, two strikes. And if he's smart on the mound, don't expect to see this one anywhere near the zone. Now a curveball in there, strike three called and the inning is over. We'll get a look at Todd Helton leading off when we come back. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Todd Helton will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the pitch. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And now Helton able to lay off there, and he's got it to one and two. Doesn't have the greatest discipline up there, but even he won't go after that 0 and 2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Curveball, or maybe even the circle change there. Two and two, regardless. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Lined up the middle. In there, a base hit. Well, he's been automatic out there to this point, but here in the fifth inning, he finally surrenders hit number one. Now let's see if he can work his way out of this and get back into the dugout. Garrett Atkins will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Low for ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 
He's ready now. The pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Brad Hopp waits on deck. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So a runner on first with one out now, and in steps the right fielder, Brad Hopp. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now, worth keeping an eye on. And this is going to miss for a ball. Two and one now to Hopp. Strike two called, and it's even at two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. And with the count full, let's see if they send the runner here to try to stay out of a double play. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Renteria for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. We'll get a look here. That was going to be a tough turn. Good effort, but they couldn't get the two. Corey Sullivan will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. and oh. Bring the cheese! Good release on the circle change. 2-1 and one now. 2-0 and oh is traditionally a fastball count, but he dropped the change on him instead. Swing and a miss there, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Ordonia is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Carlos Guillen will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first by Tulowitzki is in time for route number one. One out now here in the Tiger fifth inning. And in steps the shortstop, Edgar Renteria. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Well, he got away with that pitch, but when you're a veteran pitcher, those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. A solo home run for Edgar Renteria as the Tigers grab a one to nothing lead. Well, they say almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but boy, the right fielder almost brings this one back into the ballpark. That was close. Jock Jones will step in. A ground out victim as last time. And this ball will be chopped foul.
swing and a liner toward right center. Base hit. Well, that was a good count for a slider, but I think he sniffed that one out because he was right on that thing. Fudge Rodriguez will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch coming. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And he's able to track this one down on the run for route number two. Well, as a pitcher, you'll want to throw strikes, but sometimes too many is a bad thing. You see there, 38 of them. He's been in the zone quite a bit here. Curtis Granderson will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Got on him kind of quick that time and in a good spot right at the knees. Good changeup and it's 0-2. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And he's going to get to this thing on the run, and a fine play there will end the inning. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that will give them the lead. We're through five here at the ballpark. Detroit is out in front, one to nothing. Your Victoria Alba will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. And with that pitch count creeping up towards 80 now, you've got to be alert for signs of tiring. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. And this one's over at the knees, 2-1. and one. Here's the pitch in there and it's even now two and two big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field Jones has to retreat a bit but he gets there for route number one starts this inning off the way he started most of the others you see the line there no runs allowed and just one hit allowed as well he is really locked in Marcus Giles will stand in. He flew out his last time up. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. Jones will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Boy, right down the middle, and he gets away with it. He's just been bulletproof in this one. Willie Tavares will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Well, you throw that change up early in a sequence. Now the hitter wonders when he's going to see it again. Lays off the circle change there. A ball and a strike. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. And that's six shutout innings thus far as he's been very difficult to solve. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Tigers are out in front, one to nothing. Placido Polanco will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Ball one. And this is fouled straight back. ball straight back now 
here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. And that misses two and two. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And here's a dive by the center fielder, but it's off his glove. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Nothing but goose eggs through the first four innings. Then they finally got to this guy in the fifth. They'll look for more now here in the sixth. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And here comes young Miguel Cabrera. Goes the other way with a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the runner is in from second. Well, he gives this thing a pretty good ride out there, and you see it hit the wall, but as far as I'm concerned, he needs to be standing at second. Maglio Ordonez will stride in, grounded out his last time three. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And Maglio's a guy that can reach the outer part of the plate. Great opposite field power. In there, one and one. Nah, you don't want that one. Let him bring you something straighter. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. The two two coming. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Gary Sheffield is on deck. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. Taylor Buckle is going to have his work cut out for him here. Gary Sheffield will step in. One for two in the ball game. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. When he's on, a pitch like that will take the sting out of your bat. Took something off there, but it misses ball one. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. A dive by Tulowitzki, but he comes up empty. That's a base hit. Now both men are across to score. And he is in the second base with a two-run double. Well, Matt, when everything's said and done, two runs come across on the play, and the batter does a heads-up job of getting over to second base. Carlos Guillen will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Three runs already home here. Blowing away as he misses again. 2 and 0. Oh. Two oh on the way. Now he goes the other way with a fastball, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. 
Well, he gives this one a pretty good ride, but you'll see that high bounce takes it over the wall for a ground rule double. Edgar Renteria will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. He's set, now the pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. This does stay alive as this is fouled back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. right in the center of the diamond. Tori Alba keeps the mask on and he has it for route number one. Jock Jones will dig in. He singled his last time around. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Tavares is there now, and he has it, two gone. Fudge Rodriguez will dig in, one for two thus far. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. That's a foul ball. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. Tigers lead this one five to nothing. Troy Tulowitzki will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. A new pitcher to tell you about now is it'll be the hard-throwing Fernando Rodney that gets the nod here. after the first pitch and hits it on the ground for Polanco at second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And he looks really steamed about that call, and now he's going nuclear out there. He'd better cool it quick, and oh, not quick enough as he's been run from the ball game. Matt Holliday will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Swung on and missed for the first strike. 95 on the outside paint? Call the cops. You can't hit that. The pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. Ordonia is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Todd Helton will step in, one for two in the ballgame. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats.
Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Two out, nobody on. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Foul. Pass ball, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Fordonia has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Ryan Spielberg is on now as a defensive replacement. Curtis Granderson will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. Tavares is under it to tuck this one away, and it's a one pitch out to begin the home half of the seventh. Placido Polanco will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Ball one. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats so another foul ball here and it remains one and two here he comes again one two goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short throw to Helton and there are two gone this is just a case of a guy having to protect with two strikes and he chased one out of the zone Miguel Cabrera to get another shot now. Two for three in the game. In the air to right center. Tavares is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Detroit is out in front, five to nothing. Garrett Atkins will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And there's ball one. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Here it is in slow motion on swing track. He's got all night to decide whether to swing at this thing or not. Yet he still pulls the trigger too late. You got to go. Brad Hopp will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. And Rodney with the good fastball out of the pen. No balls in a strike. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Yeah, trying to get him a chase out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. 
And this is what happens when you find yourself down in the count. All of a sudden, you start overthinking up there, and before you know it, you're on your way back to the dugout. Corey Sullivan will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here it comes. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Tigers lead it 5 to nothing. Magli Ordonez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. in there for strike one. Mm, I bet he'd like to have that pitch back so he could have a rip. Now a ball lined toward right center. Base hit. He's around first on his way to second now. And in fact will rattle against the wall now. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Second double of the night, Matt, as he's just been a very tough out so far this evening. Gary Sheffield will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Swing and a miss as he's underneath that one for the first strike. Oh, and this guy's been around long enough to know not to swing at that garbage. On the ground down the first baseline, but foul. Here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, half of his night at the plate's been good. He's got two hits, but he's also had two strikeouts. Carlos Guillen will get another crack, one for three thus far. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And that's the perfect backdoor curveball. Good curveball that time in the low 80s. Nothing in two. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. From the stretch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And he'll try to lock him up with that down and in to keep him from getting extended. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Full count offering on its way. Hit hard down the line, but just foul, and he just missed extra bases by a matter of feet that time. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw to Helton, and there are two gone. Ryan Spire will be the new pitcher. Edgar Renteria will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that gets down, and now let's see. And this, in fact, gets to the wall now. And the runner will score from second. And he will pull into third with an RBI triple. Here you go one more time. This ball is pretty well struck towards right center, and as you see, it's going to bounce against the wall out there, and just pure hustle here gets him into third with a triple. Josh Jones will be the batter. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw to first. Not in time as the run is across to score. Thought off the crack of the bat they were going to be able to get him at first, but he's picking him up and putting him down and gets himself an infield hit. Fudge Rodriguez will get another crack. One for three thus far.
started to go around there. Appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire. Strike one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up. Tigers lead this one 7 to nothing. Your Victoria Alba will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. On the ground towards second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Marcus Giles will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Look into Pudge now, the one one. And he misses two and one. See if they try and stay out there again. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, and they have really taken Giles out of his game here. Not a particularly good at bat there, and he'll head back to the dugout with an offer. Willie Tavares will step in now. Now here's the first pitch. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this one lacked a little bit of excitement here at the end, but all in all, Matt, this one kept our interest throughout. An entertaining game by and by, so let's go ahead, Dave, and make this fella right here a deserving recipient of our Upper Deck Player of the Game Award. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score... The Tigers win it 7 to nothing. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. We'll leave you with a little bit more of the celebration taking place below us on the field. So long, everybody. Well, here's the by the province of Pesco. Go, go, go. Patience. Bring out the fish out the unleavened. Turn the rich in.